Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are back out on the Muskoka Highlands map, and we're actually going to be using Red's first gen with the flatbed, the fifth wheel, and the gooseneck to actually bring some tr tractor parts out here to the farm to help fix this farmer's broken tractor. Now, the tractor apparently quit on him out in the fields while he was, I think he was plowing or something. Tractor quit on him, needed parts, so we're actually out here. We're going to run back to town, pick up some parts, and run him back here, and hopefully his tractor's good to go after that. So let's fire the truck up, and we'll go ahead and accept that task, and then we'll head out to town. Now, this truck is actually available on mod.io if you want to check it out for yourselves, and I'll put a link in the description down below to where you can check it out. So let's go ahead and accept the task and get going. All right, nothing runs like a deer. And start tracking. Deliver two sets of vehicle spare parts to the farm. So let's go ahead and go ahead and pick them up. Now I believe the broken tractor is just chilling out there in the field and that's kind of where it sits for now. And I'm pretty sure that this would be the best way back to town. Let me just make sure. Yeah, the best way back to town is going to be Okay, because we could go this way, connect to the main road and go through. Or, we could take the back way up and over, which will come out, we'll come out behind the garage. So, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be too worried about it, but we'll come out behind the garage and we should be good to go from there. It's actually quite the, uh, quite the uneven field, I gotta say. Oh, you actually have to deliver it to right in front of the broken down tractor itself. Got it. All right. Well, I'm going to throw it in high, and I think I'll get fuel when we're out there in town, too, because getting about halfway and having to get fuel would suck, especially once we're loaded up after we leave part zone. So I'm thinking that we'll probably disconnect the trailer, and we'll pull into the fuel station, grab some fuel, and, uh, and then we'll head right back out. Pretty big trailer, although this is the lifted version, which is a little bit better and a little bit easier to deal with, because with the standard version... On back roads like this, you really deal with dragging the bottom of the uh, the trailer ramps, and it really kind of gets the truck stuck. So that's what I that's what why I decided to go with the lifted one. And I feel like going with the lifted one, especially on a map like this where you're going to be doing objectives and stuff like that, makes a lot more sense. Let's see if we can go around these rocks. I don't want to get it caught up underneath the truck or anything like that. Now I've never taken a trailer over this particular trail this particular mountain pass but i don't think we'll have any issues with it i think the biggest thing that we're going to run into is whether or not we get the back of the trailer stuck in the ground and i think it's also worth noting that i have the extra weight installed on this truck so that when i'm pulling up steep hills even with weight on the trailer the front of the truck shouldn't come off the ground and it might come off the ground a little bit but certainly not as badly uh as if we did not have the extra weight installed basically a counterweight to sort of counterbalance everything. Garage this way. Alright, there we go. Yep, there's the garage. So I'm going to put it in auto mode. Just go nice and easy down the back side of this hill. Enjoying that highly, highly detailed interior. Got that Coca-Cola in the uh, cup holder. No worries there. But we're going to go ahead and ride right past the garage. Don't need to stop there. Let me see. So we do have a fuel station up there. And the part zone is like right down the road. I don't think we're going to need the fuel. I think I might I think I think might take the gamble. Plus we, we also have, yeah, we have spare fuel with us. So I don't think we need to be all too worried about it. Turn the four wheel drive off. Technically, it'd be six-wheel drive since this thing is a dually. Sure nobody's coming. We can go ahead and try to swing wide so we don't put the trailer in our neighbor's yard. But we might eh, ever so slightly put it in their yard. Just like very, very little. Up in fourth gear now. Dragged the back of the trailer a little bit. Did not mean to do that, but it just sort of ended up happening because of the way that hill is laid out. All right, pulling into part zone, picking up these vehicle spare parts. Let's back the trailer in so we have an easy exit. But since it's a gooseneck, it shouldn't be that hard to back in. All going fairly smoothly so far. 
Get it rotated. Not bad. Not bad. All right, cargo management. Whoa, drilling spare parts? I mean, that'd be cool, but I don't need that. All right, trailer, let's see. Service and vehicle spare parts. One, two. Obviously, it's a four-slot trailer, so it's not going to fill the whole thing up, but it's going to fill it up partially. So let's go ahead and head back out. Let me just make sure that we're good. Yep. And off we go. Now, I'm thinking actually this time, now that I have cargo, I might take the road and go over the bridge. The only problem is you have to kind of take a... Well, it's a slight detour, but it shouldn't be much. Like, it looks like a lot on the map, but I don't think it's all that bad. I really don't. One way or another, we'll find out, especially if we end up running out of fuel. But then again, we got extra fuel, so I'm not too worried about that. Making our way down the road. We should be fine. Fuel consumption ain't too bad, especially when you have the four-wheel drive turned off. Let's see if she stays in fourth gear pulling this hill with the cargo on the trailer. Hopefully, hopefully she does. I don't know. I, I So far, it's going to be, a, it, it seems like it's going to be okay, but it gets real steep here, so it may not be. Well, actually, I take that back. It shows, oh. Nope. Oh, it completely sputtered out. There's high. I'm just going to leave it in high for now. I know it's going to use more fuel, but that's the price I'm willing to pay uh, in order to not completely let the truck sputter out on me. Back into automatic as we're getting to the top of the hill now. If you look at that trail over there, that's definitely a trail that this setup could not take on. At least it might be able to, but I don't know if I'd attempt it. All right, let's stay to the... Whoa, stay to the inside. Stay to the inside. And the Rex 240 right there. What the heck did you do, bud? Eh, put his 240 in the bank. I guess he just left it. Sheesh. All right, next bridge to go over. Beautiful view, by the way. Beautiful views out here. Hoping and praying that she'll stay in fourth gear. I've got the throttle pinned. Absolutely pinned right now. Oh, it does not want it. It does not want it. Come on. Oh, it didn't want to turn there either. Wow. It was getting a little it was getting a little iffy with me on that one. Now, unfortunately, we are gonna have to drive sort of past the farm and then cut back down into it because. That's the only way the road goes, and I'm not really willing to risk rolling this thing over by attempting to do, like, gooseneck trailer rock crawling. Not really in, not really on the list of tasks for this, uh, for this particular job. There's the farm down there, so we're just gonna go ahead and wind through this next corner. We'll make a left up here at the junction, and then we'll make another left, and that will have us heading for the farm. The weight was pull, uh, was pushing us there a little bit. Trailer trying to pass me. All right, still don't have the four-wheel drive on, but I don't think I need it yet, so. Eh, it's probably nice. Yep, terrain's starting to get a little uneven, so it's gonna be nice to have it on. So I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on and leave it on now that we're off the beaten track. Making our way though, not doing too bad. This upcoming uphill, I'm, I'm gonna see if it'll pull it in fourth gear, but I highly doubt it. Because the back of the trailer's probably gonna scrape. And when the back of the trailer starts scraping, the transmission gives up. Yup. Oh my god. Wow. It more than gave up. It, 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 it just like stopped. It just died. It was like, nope. You're done. It's like, you're done, bud. And I'm like, okay. Alright, where are we looking? There's our tractor. There should be a little trail. Really? Yo, that crap was back there. I might be about to do something that I shouldn't do. Oh boy. 
Because I don't want to back all the way up there. I might have to, though. Yeah, I might have to. Although, maybe I could sort of slot the trailer into the woods? Maybe? The trailer's getting bound up on something. Yet again, I think it's the back of the trailer ramps. Make sure we're completely turned around. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And, I mean, with that being said, let's just go ahead and take the safe route. I was thinking about just, you know, throwing it down the cliff, but... Oh, God. Ooh, safety winch, please. Save me. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Throwing it in high, because every time you get, like, into twisty terrain... The gearbox in auto mode just does not like it. It's like, yep, right back to first gear yet again. All right, throwing it back into automatic mode since we're going downhill now. When you have gravity on your side, auto mode works just fine. Sun's starting to go down now, but it looks like we'll be able to get this guy his spare parts before the day is out. Oh, yeah. Easy down the hill. Try not to roll the thing over. Because it'd probably be really easy to spill what we've got on this trailer now. Because we have no sides to the trailer. Trailer's just like out there in the open. Sun's going down. Evening is upon us. But we'll go ahead and get these parts dropped off and we should be good to go. Almost there. Same day delivery. I'll tell you what. I tell you what. All right, pull up. Yup. Boom. That is done. And hopefully, with the uh, with the use of those parts, hopefully that tractor fires up. Or, if it doesn't fire up, I would just probably suggest he, you know, buy a new tractor. But, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.